back to the channel. It is a nice Sunday morning and today I'm gonna to get some work done on the car. Um, so right now I am going to um, get this carpet painted black. Uh, I want to change my interior to black. Uh, I was going to get new carpet off of eBay. I think I mentioned it in another video, but they're talking about, you know, hot molding and how hard it is to get um, put back in the car. Uh, so since I already have this carpet, um, I'm just going to actually got the trailer loaded up now and I'm going to head to the uh, the car wash and just uh, power wash the carpet. Um, I dumped out, well, it's obviously not tire coming in here, but I dumped, well, this was empty. So I put in some uh, purple power and some laundry, or not laundry, but uh, dish detergent, some Dawn. Uh, mix that together real good. Um, and now I'm just spraying, spraying the carpet down um, before I drive over to the the car wash to to wash this off so it'll have time to sink in it may dry up but at least it'll it'll sink into the fibers of the carpet so um cleaning will be a little better so yeah found that, that tip on youtube just get purple power or some kind of degreaser and some dis detergent and it said that it would work pretty good so uh i got this part mostly soaked uh, I'm going to keep spraying it. Um, the car wash is only a few minutes away, so um, it should be good. I'll spray it again when I get there. Um, then I'm going to just get some uh, fabric paint. And um, when it dries, just paint over it. I'm going to do my seats. I'm going to do my dash. Um, I'll probably do my like my the roof and everything um, a little later on that, but since I got the, I have to put the chassis harness back in, I want to just go ahead and get this painted um, so I can put the carpet and the dash back in so the car will be good. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you up to date. So I'm at the car wash and I have the carpet hanging up on the back of the trailer so I can just spray it this way. ground so I can get a nice good scrub before I blast it. Just trying to show the before. after i don't know if you can really tell the difference uh, me doing this the first time i would probably highly suggest do it with a actual pressure washer um i didn't do it with a pressure washer uh because someone broke into my garage a while ago and stole the um pressure washer but i mean it it does a pretty decent job you can still see there's like 
they're still it's still packed in there a little bit um so i don't know i may i may do another round um, i've already spent i don't know it's called six dollars and quarters um i was able to get this side a little better um Rustoleum. I see the duplicate color, but I think I like Rustoleum better. Hmm. Ahead and went with the duplicate color um, because I saw they had it AutoZone, and I didn't feel like going anywhere else. So I'm gonna do it with this. I mean, all the same thing. Um, if you're planning on doing something like this, make sure you get some adhesion promoter so it'll stick to the, to the whatever you're painting. Um, you got a microfiber cloth, make, make some like purple power, dilute it, and wiping down the, the dashboard now. Spray this automotive primer on there. Uh, I'm going to do, it says do about two or three coats. So, let's see how this goes. now it's like a grayish bluish color um so i hope you'll be able to tell the difference with the, the black here first coat is going to be a really light coat just to get things started This is after one base coat. Try to get the lighting right. Can't really tell because the colors are kind of match in the sun. I mean, in the sun it makes it look the same, but it's definitely black. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Lay a few coats and I'll show you guys the, the final, final product. Final product never tell that this was painted there's no run marks I mean not even because I'm a good painter I guess just the type of paint it's really hard to run it but the dash is completely black this is what I use Now I just got to do the carpet and the seats. We'll see how those come out. But the dash is perfect. This is my carpet after uh, it being power washed. Um, as you can see, it's actually came out pretty good. I mean, there's still a little dirt in it a little bit, but I'm about to get the vacuum and um, get the vacuum and vacuum the dirt out. Still got to get that off i don't know what the heck that is but overall this carpet is much cleaner Let's see if i have a before and like an actual picture of the before and after but it's looking pretty good about ready for paint i'm, I'm gonna test it out this this part right here is really good really plush because it's the back passenger seat and no one ever sat behind me since i'm so tall so it's the best part of the carpet so I'm going to get the vacuum and just vacuum it and probably just spray this back section uh, since I have another can um, ready. And then I got to do the seats. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started on this. Got to use the house vacuum because my shop vac is messed up. But it's really compact. 
and it'll fit nice on the carpet. So, yeah, I'm gonna you can get it. tell you right now that this is just, this is going to turn out just like I want it to so you can see unpainted versus one quick little coat yeah this is going to turn out just like I want it to no need to buy a new carpet just pressure wash it vacuum it beat it beat it out and spray it quick this is after one quick coat as you can see this side is unpainted this is painted um, carpet is still plush this doesn't um, that was already off as soon as you spray it, it's pretty much dry um, it doesn't make this carpet feel crusty um, feels just like the original feels just feels just like this side um, Just got to get a brush and scrub it in make sure it gets in the fibers and We should be good and here is the after fully painted it Took one can um, one and Three quarters can I don't know. But it came out amazing my carpet and my dash is officially black. You guys, the detail. You would never know that this carpet was blue. And there you go. I am going to go ahead and fin end the video right here. Um, I'm going to let the carpet make sure it's all dry. Um, it's kind of cold outside, so I am going to put the wheels back on the Integra so I can pull it out of the garage. And I'm going to pull my car, or my other car, the Accord, into the garage so I can work on it. When it's cold, I can put the heater in there um, so I can start putting all the car back together. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got the dash done. I got the carpet done. Got it pressure washed. Um, next few things I got to do is uh, just put everything back together. I got my car is leaking on the inside, I believe. Uh, I got to get a bucket of water and find out where it's leaking. I'm gonna pour it all over the car or the water hose. Find out where it's leaking. Fix that. Put the interior back together, and we can go from there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. More videos coming soon. I'm gonna keep it rolling. All right, guys.